Welcome to the official Windows 8 and today we will talk about something that's kind of a little controversial. Everybody has its own way of uh, thinking about batteries and battery life and uh, I, I see a lot of people that are totally um, misinformed about how to properly use your, their lap laptop battery, how to make sure that uh, it lasts the longest time possible. Uh, laptop batteries are expensive so you might want to actually have the longest performance level available for your battery. So you got that new laptop, maybe the guy at the store told you, hey, you know, if it's plugged in all the time you shouldn't leave the battery in or um, you should um, use your battery a lot. Maybe a friend of yours is going to tell you, oh, when you use the battery on your laptop, uh, let it go until it's really totally dead before you recharge or you're going to uh, uh, make it uh, die faster or uh, have memory effect or, okay, let's start from this really the beginning here. First of all, today's batteries are lithium ion batteries. That's the technology that's used on batteries today. Lithium ion batteries are really cool because they really really pack a lot of uh, power in a very small uh, format. So that's why today's batteries are probably are much thinner, much smaller than the ones 10 years ago, 15 years ago. And they also last longer in most machines because the, the laptops today actually use um, a little less power, are uh, kind of optimized to uh, minimize power drain on the battery. Now, two things actually make batteries die fast. Lithium-ion batteries don't like when you never use them and lithium-ion batteries don't like when you overuse them. What does that mean? If your laptop's plugged in 24 hours a day, your battery is going to wear faster because it's never used. And don't listen to that salesman or that friend of yours that told you oh take out the battery from your laptop when it's plugged in because you're gonna burn it. Lithium-ion batteries have a safe device. They actually stop charging when they are full and the reason they do that is because overcharging a lithium-ion battery is extremely dangerous and it can explode or catch on fire. So that's why they stop on their own Think of these batteries as being intelligent batteries. They know when they need to be charged and they know when they don't need to be charged. So you can keep it in your laptop even if you don't use the battery much often. But you will increase the uh, lifetime of your battery if you take the time to unplug at least once a month and let your battery go and drain maybe 30 or 40 percent. You can see the battery drain when you unplug your laptop. There's a little battery icon on the bottom left of your desktop mode and it tells you how much remaining percent. Typically, you, if you want to have really the best battery life possible, try never to go 150 percent. We all do go under 50% at one time or another, especially when we uh, uh, bring along our laptops um, and work out of the house or the uh, office. So, of course, going under 50% from time to time is not drastic, but it's better to replug your laptop very often even if it's only 5, 10, 15 percent drain, then it is to leave the battery going all the way down to zero. Uh, that's the second thing the battery doesn't like. If you let your laptop drain your battery until it stops, that's gonna wear your battery very fast. 
Typically someone that uses his laptop and drains the battery to zero almost every day. Um, the battery is dead in about a year. Uh, if you keep your power always on and never use the battery, typically in about a year and a half your battery is going to be dead. Um, and if you are in the middle, so you use it 20, 30, 40 percent, uh, plug it in when you can. Or if you never use it on the battery, um, unplug your laptop at least once a month and let it drain the battery 20, 30 percent. Uh, like I said, try not to go more than 50 and plug it back in and um, this is going to give you a battery lifetime that's probably going to be uh, more than two years, maybe three years. Um, I've used many laptops and based, typically by using that rule of um, using the battery regularly only let it drain to 20, 30, 40 percent, not much more if possible. Uh, I sometimes go to zero. Uh, when I'm gone, I'm a tech guy, so I'm gone with my laptop all day long, and it can happen. I never bring along my power adapter. Um, I have a second battery in my bag, so basically I will swap batteries. So it, it will happen sometimes that I will drain it to 20 percent or 10 percent or or even it's going to shut down because the battery is totally uh, dead. Then if that is the case, uh, once in a while, and I mean, you know, not every day, just maybe once a month or two, you drain it to zero, it's not too bad. Uh, but rule, try not to go below 50% most of the time. Um, but like I said, use it from time to time because if you don't use it at all, it's bad. So uh, just remember the rule is today's batteries, never use them is bad, all use them and drain them to zero is bad. You want to be somewhere in the middle where you'll use a battery from time to time and unplug it and um, try not to go too much below 50%. One last rule. And I would say this might be something you'll do once every six months or every year. Uh, one of the things that happen with uh, batteries is that it has an internal um, counter that act actually tells your laptop how much energy it has left. What happens is with time, when you use the battery only 20, 30, 40 percent, it sometimes will be half, meaning that it thinks it still has three hours of battery but it only has two and you can see that typically because sometimes your battery might uh, your laptop might shut off by itself in the middle of nowhere while it was saying that it still had an hour left and you're thinking wow what happened well it can happen that the battery is not giving out the good information to your laptop. So how do you reset that? It's simple. You unplug your laptop, use it on the battery until it shuts down by itself. That's very important. You have to use it until it shuts down by itself. And um, once it's shut down by itself, you can plug it back in and uh, don't use it while it's charging. Leave it only charging the battery until that little uh, light on your laptop uh, will tell you that charge is uh, finished. This is going to uh, reset that little counter. It's going to know, oh, okay, that's where we are. That's how much energy my battery now can hold. So I'll put the right time and I'll inform Windows of the good information because that little percent uh, or time that you see in your taskbar like for example here it says now I'm at 4 hours and 7 minutes and I have 98 percent remaining that's the battery telling Windows how much power it has left and it is not Windows itself it's just the information that the little chip in the battery is giving to Windows so it does need sometimes to have a kind of a reset by putting the battery to zero and just charging it 
but keep in mind that when you do that don't use your laptop once it's shut down because the battery's at zero uh, put it on you know plug it in so it charges the battery don't use it because it can alter the way uh, the uh, little chip knows how much power there is inside so uh, that's about the best way to use your batteries um, why do people give information like oh uh, use your battery to zero uh, that comes from the old times when batteries were uh, nick nickel cadmium uh, there was a period in the 90s when lithium-ion batteries were not really available or too expensive. Uh, laptops were using nickel-cadmium batteries. Uh, that's the NICAS, the same little rechargeable batteries that you might use in uh, toys or uh, electronic devices. Typically, those batteries need to be uh, fully charged and used up till it's at 0% because they were uh, actually making or holding what's called a memory effect. If you only uh, discharge to 30% or 60% or every time you discharge, you discharge just half, it, it typically uh, grows little crystals inside and your battery cannot charge as it did before. By doing uh, big cycles, these batteries were able to work better. So that's an old way of thinking. It's not true today. Lithium-ion batteries hate to go down to zero all the time, so don't do it. And the other uh, reason why they say you should take out your battery from your laptop if it's always plugged in uh, is because, once again, nickel, uh, these nickel-cadmium batteries didn't have any chips inside to let them know they were fully charged. They were being charged all the time and what happened it, it would generate heat and that would kind of cook the inside of the battery uh, making all of these little crystals once again grow in the batteries and preventing it from really really keeping a charge so these are old uh, urban legends <laughs> that need to really really die out lithium-ion batteries today are not like that so um, if you uh, enjoy our videos, please feel free to uh, subscribe to our channel. Um, if you have any comments, questions, maybe about this video or any other video, let us know. We'll try to answer any questions if possible. If we can't answer it, maybe someone will on the uh, little chat below the, uh, uh, the comments just below the video. And uh, if you have that feature of Windows 8 you'd like us to talk about maybe then let us know we'll try to uh, um, put that video online and you'll be helping others at the same time and of course uh, take a look at our videos if you got that new Windows 8 machine we have lots and lots of videos online uh, helping you use Windows 8 to the maximum and uh, hopefully that you'll be checking out and coming back regularly to the official Windows 8 channel. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.